Good morning, aloha, and welcome to AARP Hawaii's Neighborhood Talks, Midweek Break Gentle Fitness Energizer. My name is Val, and I am an AARP volunteer. AARP is a nonprofit membership organization for people aged 50 and over. However, what we do, we do for everyone. We are committed to ensuring that our members and their families have access to information and services that can help them maintain quality of life as they grow older. This series will give you valuable information to help you take care of your health, which is very important as we age. A quick review of the Zoom controls. Everyone has been placed on mute. Please use the chat button to pose questions, make comments, and to ask for any technical assistance. Exercise is one of the pillars of having a healthy body and brain. At least 150 minutes of exercise each week is great. Beyond the physical, exercise has many benefits. It is good for your brain and heart and helps reduce stress. Research suggests that being physically active is all part of healthy living. During this series, you'll breathe, stretch, laugh, increase your strength, and relax with gentle guided movements designed to help you center yourself and re-energize. It is recommended that you check with your doctor before beginning any new exercise program and be sure to modify anything you think is unsafe for you. We are pleased to welcome back Kat Sawai, manager and instructor at the Body and Brain Center in AEA. I hope you are ready for some fitness and fun. Over to you, Kat. Aloha and good morning, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Did I see some of you last week? Give me a thumbs up if I saw. All right, great job. Did you enjoy yourself? Okay, now did you honestly, be honest, did you feel a little bit better the second half of your week? Or, or were you at least aware, at least conscious about, hmm, how am I feeling for my second half of the week? All right, that's also important. So I saw on the picture, they had a happy face and I saw two fingers doing that to the mouth okay so without using your fingers <laughs> Lani without fingers can you do it the end of your mouth like this to your earlobe okay great all right keep that smile okay <laughs> all right so let's get right into it and let's start to activate our energy we said during the middle of the week we need energy energy is flowing in the body but when it's kind of at rest we can feel a little bit tired so let's just activate in a natural way our own circulation of energy so with your amazing healing hands let's tap the abdomen so this is your your whole gut your belly and your abdomen you have upper abdomen lower abdomen so with your open hands tapping your abdomen like this not too hard but let's stimulate the belly and if possible, can you try to relax your belly? Initially, when you tap, you might want to resist the tapping, but in your mind, look at it like, oh, I'm, I'm massaging my internal organs. My internal organs are waking up, my stomach and my liver, and that means my digestive system is gonna work really well for me today, and then I can eat a little more. Isn't that great? Okay, so let's check our posture. Uh, most of these exercises I'm doing all in the chair. Okay, so you can sit down with a straight spine. And remember, not this one, okay? Okay, so straight spine. Press your feet down into the ground. Make sure your feet are touching, so you might have to inch your way to a point on the chair where your feet are touching the ground. And we're still tapping our belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everyone who I can see, if you can hear me well, can you nod your head? Okay, great job. Good. <laughs> That's mind-body harmonization too, right? 
Okay, great. Now we're going to tap the lungs. Tap your lungs. Tap your lungs. Good. Now when you tap your lungs, everyone, can you just gently press the chest up like this? So from here, a little bit forward and tap. Tap your lungs, lungs, lungs. This is a great way to refresh. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Can you feel the depth of your breath? One more time. Breathing in through the nose and expand your lungs. And exhale through your mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, crisscross your hands. Rub your lungs. Do you feel a little bit of warmth in there? Isn't it amazing, the heat in your lungs? Okay, great. We're going to sweep down like this. Sweep crisscross. Sweep down your body. So we're sweeping down the lungs. We're sweeping down the heart and our gut. Sweep down, sweep down. Remember, whenever we tap, we're opening up, opening up acupressure points. And then we release any kind of stagnant energy. And then we have to sweep it off the body and make the body lighter. Okay, so let's do just a little bit on the shoulders. We're not going to tap this time. But lifting the shoulders up and dropping the shoulders down. Lifting up and drop, up and drop, up and drop. Now when you drop, when you drop your shoulders, completely relax everything. So this one is a little bit power. You have to lift your shoulder blades, lift your shoulders up, lift your chest up, lift your rib cage up. Can you lift your rib cage bones? And when you drop, drop everything. Your shoulders, your arms, your chest, even your your face, like that. Okay, so up, 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 up. When your shoulders come up, doesn't your lips come up? And again, one, two, Rebecca, three, Rebecca. <laughs> That's okay, you can yawn. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So smile and then like this, just like your shoulders. Up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop. One more, up, drop, up, drop. Okay, when you stop, close your eyes. You can feel sensations, right? Heat, a little bit of tingling. Sometimes it feels itchy. Do you feel it, everyone? You can just nod your head. Yeah, good job. Shake out your hands. Shake out your elbows, shake your shoulders. Woo! Okay, everyone, can you see my, my legs, how my legs are? I'm flat on the floor, knees bent 90 degrees, and straighten your spine. It's only 25 more minutes, so keep your, your back off the chair. This is good for your core, everyone, really good for your core. So are you ready? When we lift the knee, if you have difficulty, you can always hold the chair, but keep a straight back, okay? And then you're gonna just practice like this, lift, down lift and down this is so good for your core again one two if you really want to challenge yourself you don't have to hold the chair hands on your abdomen and you can feel your abdomen getting strong and relax strong and relax one two three use this part four when you lift the leg up use your abdomen seven Eight, nine, ten, and relax. Woo! Did you feel it, everyone? You did core exercise. You did a core exercise. Aren't you happy? Yeah, you tell your family, hey, I did my core exercise today. All right, are you ready? We're going to continue core exercise. Simply leaning forward. So first, let's check the feet. Make sure your feet are pointing for, straight forward my toes are forward so they're not open this way or this way right straight forward so my knees are straight okay and then from here you can hold on put your hands on your thighs straighten your back and just lean about 20 degrees like this oh can you feel your glute muscle everyone yeah so try not to put too much you can control it how much you want to press on your leg if you press hard you don't use too much of your butt muscle but if you, if you just rest your hands there and test it out, lessen the push, you feel a lot of your glute muscle. This is called the glute. 
Okay, what we're gonna try to do, can you help me? Up and down like this, off the chair. Just really light, very lightly. One, two, just small, can you see it? Very small, just a little bit lift the butt up. Four, can you see it? Five, whoa, working your legs good. Six, you're doing great. Seven, are you smiling? Eight, nine, ten, wow. Shake out your legs and arms. Whew, how was it? Are you sweating? Are you getting hot? <laughs> Natalie, hot, right? <laughs> Shake it out, good job. Whew, okay. Do you feel a little bit stronger on your lower body? Strong, right? All right, good. So now, now we're going to, mm, okay. Shake your shoulders a little bit. I'm gonna do a mind body exercise because everybody loves those, right? Mind body. Okay, you have to follow what I do, okay? All right, so shake your hands forward like this in front of your body. Shake your wrist. It's only wrist shaking. I'm just gonna change directions, okay? Wrist shaking, this is forward, okay? This is side, all right? This is your right side, is that correct? If you mirror me, this is your right side, is that correct? Right, and then this is left. Okay, and this is up. Ah, I may not be mirrored, okay, and down. Everybody, can you go to your left side? What is your left side? That's your left side. Okay, it's correct. How about your right side? Okay, you're a mirror. You're a mirror to me. Okay, so four. Side. Up. Down. Again. Forward. Side. Up. Down. Left. Right. Is it easy for you? Okay, you know, you know, I'm gonna give you more than that, right? Yeah, no, it's not gonna be that easy. Okay, are you ready now? You have to do what I say. Don't follow what I'm doing, pretty much. Okay, so just focus, okay? So up is, I'm gonna switch it on you. Up is this way. This means up. This means down. This means front. <laughs> this means side. Does it make sense? Joyce, you got it, Joyce? I'm gonna watch you, Joyce. Okay, how about Rebecca? All right, ready? Let's practice. Mm, up. You gotta go opposite. Lani, up is opposite. <laughs> no, Grace, everybody, okay. One more time, everybody. When I say up, from now on, up is this. Okay? Pretend you don't know the meaning of words. Up means this. Down means this. Okay? Front means this. And side means this. Are you ready? That's all I'm going to do. Only four different ones. Okay, ready? Let's practice. Up. Down. Side. And front. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Up. Up. Side. Down. Front. Down. Up. Side. Front. Ah. Whoo. Shake out your hands. How's your how's your brain? Tap your brain. You did a good job. Uh, isn't this mind, mind body exercise? I just switched it on you, right? I just made opposite. But, oh, your mind is still up. This is up. A brain is function is so strong. Down. But I said opposite. Down is up. Up is down. Right? Okay, shake your shoulders. You did great, great. Crisscross your elbows. Ah, so why did I do this exercise? It's brain refreshing. And brain refreshing, it really helps us get up a little bit more, like a week, right? Ex exactly what the word says. 
It makes me refresh and awaken my brain. Even though you feel like I was like confused, after you finish, you can feel like a little buzzing feeling in your brain and you feel a little bit more active and then you can't help but smile. Come on, you gotta smile. It was funny. Okay, crisscross your elbows, open your chest. When you open your chest, open your heart, stretch your lungs, right? So it's not just the arm motion. Nowadays, this is our third session. We incorporate a lot of the whole body when we move, even just arms. Open your chest. And can you see the back, how you can curl your back? Yeah, and you can open up the spine and your back muscles. <sighs> so posture is so important, right? So let's bring the arms down. We also talked about how posture helps energy flow and then we feel more energized, right, in our day. Just do posture. So let's practice posture. We're in our chair now, right? And we're still sitting straight up. I see you, you look great. And then we're gonna focus on the back, you know, our backbone and our spine, right? Our spine there. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, training to help you concentrate on your spine, okay? So right now, we're just gonna move the spine like this. Okay, so it's like this, right? Yeah. Okay, so in your mind, even though you can see how my arms and the outside of my body is moving, concentrate on the inside of your body and you can feel your spine is moving like this. Choop, 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 choop. Can you feel it? And exhale through your mouth. Now remember, let's keep the spine nice and tall. And when you're in a chair, it's easier, right? So straighten your spine, make a proud posture, and press your feet down, and you can feel the spine twisting, right? Choop, choop, like this, choop, choop, choop. Okay, okay, slowly stop. And when your hands come down to rest on your knees, just close your eyes for five seconds and feel your spine. You might feel temperature or sensations along your spine. And if you do, I congratulate you, and if you don't, I wouldn't worry about it at all because we're going to continue to keep trying to open it up and inhale through your nose, expand your chest and your lungs, and with your bright smile, exhale. Don't forget your smile. Okay, great. Now, the second way we're going to move the spine is like this, up and down. Okay, so how do you do it? Just like this. Can you use your feet and gently Press your feet down and lift your butt up and down. Off. I hope you have a cushion on your chair. And just very lightly up and down. It's called vibration. Up and down your spine. You can do this with your hands. Sometimes I use my hand motion and it helps move my body. It's interesting, right? So you know when you're in the car, in the bumpy road? We like it, right? Don't you fall asleep? Ah, it's so, it's a very organic, rhythmic feeling. The body loves this. So this is really good for our spine. But make your spine tall and long, and then create the vibration like this, up and down. Okay, and stop. Again, close your eyes for five seconds. Start to feel your spine. And feel your breath. You work in your lower body, by the way, too. That lower body is working using your core and your leg muscles, so great job. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Okay, open your eyes. Do you feel your spine is getting warmer? More looser? Maybe looser? Okay, the third one we're going to do. This one, is, this one is tricky. I'm making it harder and harder. So imagine your spine, right? And imagine a Z shape coming down your spine like this, just, just like a zigzag, choo, 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 okay? And then from your shoulders down to your tailbone, right? Tailbone, you have to trace, trace the zigzag, cha, 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 up and down your spine. Do, 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 do. You can close your eyes, it's easier. And like I told you, you can use your hands, right? Use your hands is really helpful. It's so interesting. So practice without your hands. 
If you have difficulty, use your hands and whatever helps you. But remember, you're going up and down your spine. I call this one spine refreshing, right? Because energy runs down our spine. We have energy centers that lay along our backbone, our spine. So when we move our spine and open it, oh, it's so good to flow energy. You'll be surprised how much energy you feel from opening your spine like this. Okay, slowly stop. Hands on your knees, straighten your spine, feet on the floor. Remember posture and breathe into your chest. And when you exhale through your mouth, relax and feel your backbone. Is it tingling and warm? Again, inhale, expand your chest and smile. Feels so good. I feel so great. Okay, everyone, open your arms and spread your arms as far back as you can and open up your chest. So what you want to do when the arms come back as much as you can, push your chest out like that. Just like you're on the top of the mountain and you made it to the top and you're so happy. I made it and you're breathing in the fresh air and your lungs are open, your heart is open, your belly is stretching, your spine is long and straight. Inhale and relax, bring your arms down. So deep breathing, another great way to energize your body. Okay, shake your shoulders. Okay, we have about three more minutes. The time is just going so fast. Is everybody okay so far? Okay, I made you really do a lot of concentration. So today's class to me is one of the harder classes because you really I made you concentrate on your body a little bit more to move it. So we're going to continue to concentrate on the body. I'm going to give you a mind-body exercise again. Are you okay, right? Mind-body coordination. Don't worry if you can't do it. If you can't do it, you just do this. And nobody knows. They'll say, oh, she's so happy. He's so happy, right? It's okay. Okay, are you ready? We're going to do a clapping exercise. I want to make sure you can see my whole body. So I'm seated in my chair. I'm not doing anything different with the sitting posture. But I'm going to raise my arms like this. Clap over my head. I'm gonna clap in front of my, my tummy, so as low as you can go, down, right? Okay, ready? Up, down, up, down. If the legs are in the way, <laughs> you have to find a way to avoid hitting your legs, right? Okay, ready? One, two, it's like jumping jacks. Three, remember jumping jacks? You don't wanna remember jumping jacks, right? Five, anyway, it's good for a six. Can you stretch? The mosquito, mosquito is up there. Catch, mosquito, stretch here. Don't let it go. And down, whoo, again, stretch. And down, you get two mosquitoes, one up here, one more mosquito down here. Up and down. Okay, shake it out. Now, everyone, let's practice. Remember we did this one earlier today? Keep your back straight. And when you lift your leg, just tap on either side of your leg like this. Okay, like this. Ready? One, two, three, four. Okay? Okay. We have one more minute. So are you ready? We're going to go up, down, up, and tap the left knee like this. Okay. Up, down. Mosquito. And you got mosquito on each part of your knee. Yeah. You got a lot of mosquito. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Three and yeah. One, two, three and hop. One, two, three and hop. Smile. One, two, three and hop. Again. One, two, three. One more time. Smile. One, two, three and yeah. Okay. Woo. Can you rub your knees? Oh, you did a great job. And how are your hands? You're really stimulated, right? Okay, one more quick, quick. I think I have a few seconds. Rub your hands. Since we did such a great job, I just want you to do a little bit of energy, energy, um, uh, like meditation with me because this also helps energize your body. Okay, you ready? So just follow what I do. Okay, hands are just about one, one inch now. Don't touch one inch relax your shoulders can you feel something in there 
Can you do this? The energy ball. I think I did it once. Can you feel the magnetic feeling, everyone? Isn't it awesome? Karen, you feel it? A little bit of energy, Joyce? Yeah. Isn't it great? Okay, bring your hands down to your knees. Whew. So what does this mean? When you feel this, energy is flowing in your body. That means you're energized. Okay, so um, I believe we, we uh, finished for today. Okay, so I, I want to thank you so much for your undivided attention and all your effort. You guys are awesome. You did great. And remember, I'm making it a little bit harder each week. So you're doing great. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to AARP. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, I feel the energy tingling and the energy ball. And, uh, all right, Joy. Let, let's check the chat room and see uh, how other people are feeling. Let's see, as people sign on, I don't see any questions, but lots of thank yous um, from Natalie, Grace, uh, Paula, you know, another great class. Thank you, thank you. Great <laughs> session from Patty. Aloha from Molokai, from Veronica. Wow, Molokai. Yes, um, let's see. Uh, Kashmira, thank you so much. That was wonderful. This, um, I think, captures all the good energy and uh, feelings. Linda says, great class, encouraging. We'll do these daily. <laughs> yeah. You've reached your goal, Kat, <laughs> having someone do these things on a daily basis. <laughs> So I think um, that, oh, here's another one. Karen, I felt energy in my back. Awesome. All righty. So that, uh, I think, concludes the uh, chat comments. So, you know, I would like to, oh, people are still coming on with their thanks. But, you know, join us again next Wednesday for our final session with Kat and check out aarp.org slash hi for many more upcoming events. And thank you to Kat and AARP team, Diane, Noreen, and Val, and of course you for joining us. I'm Joy and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to press the red lead button at the bottom of your screen. Aloha. Thank you, everyone. See you next Thank week. Thank you. We're going to really week. have fun next week. <laughs>